of a winter storm headed to the Sioux, St. Joe's Island, Searchmont, Montreal River Harbor, and Batchewana Bay. The chances of a pending snowstorm moving up from the central U.S. into the Great Lakes early this morning, missing us, seems less and less by the hour. Environment Canada has now changed the winter storm watch to a warning, meaning there's a very good chance the storm will hit. Heavy snow at times will develop early this morning and persist into the evening hours. Snow will taper to scattered rain showers or flurries overnight. Total snowfall amounts of 20 to 30 centimeters are likely by this evening. Strong southeast winds gusting to 70 kilometers an hour will also develop and combine with the freshly fallen snow to produce local blowing snow. The worst conditions are most likely late this morning into the afternoon. Snowfall rates of several centimeters per hour are possible. Consider postponing non-essential travel until conditions improve. Rapidly accumulating snow could make travel difficult over some locations, visibility will be suddenly reduced to near zero at times. With that winter storm hovering, Supervisor of Transportation Services for Algoma and Huron Superior Transportation Services, Steve Fertese, said in the interest of safety, all school-related transportation is cancelled today for all boards in all areas. Schools are open though. Niagara Region Police say a suspect is in custody in connection with a stabbing incident in Beamsville that left a man badly injured. Police say officers were called to a parking lot last evening where they found a 33-year-old man in a car suffering from critical stab wounds. They say the man was in the process of being taken to hospital when his condition deteriorated. He was subsequently transported to an out-of-town hospital by paramedics. Police say a 23-year-old Stony Creek man has been charged with aggravated assault in the case and that the investigation is ongoing. Police in London say they have a suspect in custody in connection with a possible homicide. City police say officers responding to a 911 report of a stabbing last evening found an injured male when they arrived at a residence. They say emergency crews transported the person to hospital where he was later pronounced dead. Investigators say an adult male suspect was arrested near the scene a short time later and remains in custody. No names were released and there was no immediate word on possible charges. Charges, police saying only that the investigation is in its very early stages. A suspected drunk driver heading the wrong way on Interstate 75 in Kentucky struck a vehicle carrying five family members from Michigan early yesterday, killing all six people. Police say a southbound pickup truck being driven in the northbound lanes struck the family sports utility vehicle, which caught fire and all five occupants of that vehicle died, along with the pickup's driver. The family was from Northville, Michigan, and was returning from a vacation in Florida. Parents and their three children were in the SUV. The driver of the white pickup was identified and a coroner's statement says authorities believe he was driving under the influence and that toxicology tests were planned. The interstate was shut for hours as the accident investigation opened. Excited children and their parents had the opportunity to tour Sault Ste. Marie's Fire Station No. 1 on Saturday, the last tour day during the Christmas break. This run of tours started on December 27th through to January 5th and took up to 20 children and their parents per session. Each session was approximately one hour long and started at 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Children had the chance to climb up and sit in fire trucks and the water rescue boat, and they learned about what equipment is stored in the trucks and what it's used for. These tours also take place at other times of the year and can be booked in advance. 100 athletes filled the Esquire during its 8th annual Barstool Olympic Games this weekend, making this year's event the largest to date. Events included darts, pool, poker and shuffleboard. 18 teams of between 4 and 5 people were divided into 3 divisions during this sold out event. The Esquire Porchetta Pilsner Division, Miller High Life Division and Coors Light Division. Molson is a big sponsor of the 3-day event. Prizes included two meals at the Esquire, a team jersey, as well as the big prizes for first, second, and third place. Each individual also received a medal made from the top of a beer can for each event. 
Divisions rotate through each event in a points-based round-robin system, and the final six teams will square up against each other on Championship Sunday for the Barstool Olympic Trophy. Plax and Molson attire will be handed out to the top three teams. The event kicks off the whole year at the Esquire and is just one of their many events and fundraisers held throughout the year. Extra proceeds from all of these events go into a pot and are dispersed throughout various charities around Christmas each year.